welcome everyone to Monday Night Raw, still in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. As we come to you tonight with tag team action, what a way to kick off Raw. The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Natalia, Cesaro, and Tyson Kidd. Cesaro and Tyson Kidd, former two time tag team champions, reuniting here on Raw and for the first time since uh, Tyson Kidd was on SmackDown, and Cesaro got drafted to Raw. Uh, two weeks ago. So, two weeks ago on SmackDown. So, why not have one of the greatest tag teams in Universal World history join again? Join forces again. Tyson K went to WrestleMania to compete against who is now known as Stardust for the Cruiserweight title, but wasn't able to get the job done. And Cesaro did not win the Battle Royale. I believe he was in it. He did not win the Battle Royale to become number one contender for a championship. Dean Ambrose. Both of these teams are determined to walk away with a win. Something's got to give. Tremendous tag team. Dean Ambrose got drafted to Monday Night Raw, I believe, uh, on SmackDown, also two weeks ago. He got drafted to Monday Nights. So did this man, the big guy, Ryback. Ryback, former WWE and World Heavyweight Champion. The last time Ryback was World Heavyweight Champion was in October when he lost to Brock Lesnar on SmackDown before uh, the Hell in the Cell when Lesnar lost to Luke Harper. As Ryback making his way to the ring in this tag team action. Ryback riding off the momentum after winning his big monumental match against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania in a hell in a cell match. Alright, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action to kick off Raw. Cesaro and Kidd versus Dean Ambrose and Ryback. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. As Dean Ambrose has Cesaro with the headlock. You see, here's the thing, though. Three people out of the four in this tag team match has one championship goal. As Ambrose with a crossbody. A running crossbody on the Cesaro. And, so, and Dean Ambrose with a shot to the head. Goes for the cover. Hooks the leg. And a kick out of one from Cesaro. Cesaro and Tyson Kidd won tag team gold. And, and like, re I meant recently though. Cesaro and Kidd won tag team gold on SmackDown a couple of months ago. Ryback was World Heavyweight Champion back in October. The last time Dean Ambrose was champion was I believe on Raw or on Raw or SummerSlam last year which was the worst SummerSlam I've ever produced here comes Ryback make the tag Ryback I was slipping Cesaro off the ropes and Cesaro won a counter with a mini fireman's carry uh, Dean Ambrose fought Sheamus one on one and Sheamus I believe came became the United States champion at the time as Cesaro with a German suplex and then make the tag to Tyson Kidd. That's right back with a shot to the midsection, a shot to the head. Bouncing off the ropes. Here comes Kidd. And right back over for a big boo. But Tyson Kidd blocks, was able to counter. And, and now got him with a Tiger suplex. As Tyson Kidd go for a maneuver. But right back with a knee lift on the Tyson Kidd. Ryback taunting the fans. Fans not liking Ryback that much. That's Ryback. I was hoping Kid off the road to go for a big boot again. But kills him to move out the way. Now Kid with a half Nelson suplex on the Ryback. As Tyson Kid attacking the arm. Tyson Kid, submission specialist. A man who survived the heart. The, the, the heart dungeon. 
my gosh, this is awful. I'm going to tell you something. As Tyson Kidd, like oh, what a attack in the head and the neck an of Ryback as Dean Ambrose calling for the tag. But Tyson Kidd with He's a neck breaker on the big guy. And he goes for the cover. Does he have him? Shoulders are down. And a kick out of two. Ambrose came in the ring to make to make sure that Ryback does not lose his match. That's Ryback. But a mini fireman's carry. And a Ryback picks up Kid. Spins him over. Spinning power slam. Now Ryback makes the tag to Dean Ambrose. And now Ambrose with a scoop slam. No. Kid with a counter. And a shot to the back. And now Ambrose with a counter. Fireman's carry. And a shot to the face by Ambrose. Whipping Kid into the corner real hard. Bounce off the corner. And the Kid was able to counter. Yes, Tyson Kid with the code blue. The code blue by Tyson Kid. Former signature maneuver from uh, Tyson Kid in his arsenal. And Cesaro got the tag. And Dean Ambrose trying to fight. Headbutt. Shot. Headbutt. And now a shot again. I was whipping Ambrose. I was whipping uh, Cesaro. And a run across by and shots to the head of Cesaro. Ambrose going insane. The former U.S. champion going insane. Oh, and a shot to the midsection by Cesaro. And now Cesaro has him up. Cesaro, what a, the strength of Cesaro. The Judgment Day Slam dropping Dean Ambrose. And Cesaro. Oh, Ambrose getting back into this shot and a headbutt. And then a drop kick to the knees. Shot, headbutt. And again, Ambrose. Shot to the again. Shot to the head again. I was up off. I was to the corner. But for a form, but Cesaro got out the way. Another shot. And another shot by Ambrose. Ambrose is on a roll right now. Whip it to the corner. Cesaro with a shot to the midsection. And then, oh, it's going for an elbow, but Ambrose is able to dodge it. I was whipping. Bounce off the ropes. Back body dropped by Ambrose. As Dean Ambrose looking impressive. And a kick to the back of Cesaro. As Tyson Kidd knocks down Ambrose, as Ambrose is on the second rope. And Cesaro caught him with a back body drop of his own. Cesaro wrenching and then working on the neck of Dean Ambrose. And Cesaro goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Does he have him? Does he have Ambrose? He got it on the kick out of two. We're looking at complete domination here. As this matchup continues, Cesaro wrenching the neck of Ambrose as Ryback trying to get in to the intervene. But Cesaro makes the tag. I hope the referee saw that. As Tyson Kidd's in the ring, Ambrose got Tyson Kidd. In the Ambrose drags him to the ropes. Go for a close. I know. I was swift. Counter. And Ambrose with a the lunatic lariat. The lunatic lariat from Ambrose. And now Dean Ambrose trying to set up for his finishing maneuver. And Ambrose takes out Cesaro. I don't know. That, I think that was a, a wise move. And Ambrose, oh no, Kid caught him. Tyson Kid caught him. I was whipping him to the corner. And now Dean Ambrose. Ambrose. Ambrose has him. Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds. And Ryback takes care of Cesaro and a kick out of two from, from Kid. Ryback drops Cesaro with a spine buster, but Tyson Kid was able to kick out of his own. Tyson Kidd has uh, Dean Ambrose now. Go for a pump handle slam, I believe so. Oh, pump handle gut buster. Now Tyson Kidd going for a cover. Shoots to half. Form in the face. Shoulders are down, but Ryback makes the save. Even though I believe Ambrose would have, would have kicked out. As uh, Ryback with a bulldog cheap shot onto Tyson Kidd. As Dean Ambrose on top in the face of Cesaro. 
with a big uh, knee drop or elbow drop to Tyson Kidd. And Kidd got up with a shoulder tackle. That's Ryback taunting the fans on the outside. Tyson Kidd in the ring. I was flipping the arrows. Kick to the midsection. As uh, Tyson Kidd with a sunset flip powerbomb on the Ambrose. Didn't go for the cover. I don't know why. And again, Tyson Kidd with the cold blue. And he makes the tag to Cesaro. And Cesaro and Dean Ambrose. What a wonderful tag team match. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw. Here in, still live in Montreal. This is always going to go for that Swiss uppercut and a back body drop to Ambrose by Cesaro. And a kick to the back. But Ambrose trying not to feel the pain. And Cesaro caught him with a big uppercut. A big European uppercut. Cesaro goes for the cover. Ryback trying to make the tag. Wants to make the tag. And a, oh, Ryback saves the match. As Tyson Kidd, I was flipping oh, uh, uh, right back onto the outside. Uh, Cesaro and Ambrose, the two legal men in this match. Ambrose is still alive after the save from Ryback. And now Cesaro. Oh my God, Cesaro. Cesaro got him. He's going for that Cesaro swing. That's the crowd chanting with it. Are the, the counting? That's seven. Ah, oh, that's like a 10 or 11 swings. Cesaro, phenomenal maneuver. Cover, hooks the leg. And a kick out from Ambrose. That lunatic kicked out of the Cesaro swing. And a shot to the face. And Ambrose, close lining. Cesaro onto the outside. Ambrose. Taunting Cesaro. Maybe Ambrose might take a count out victory here. Cesaro gets up to his feet as Ambrose taunting Cesaro. Inside the ring now. Finally. Now Cesaro's in the ring. Shots at a ch backhand chop and a shot to the face. Backhand chop by Ambrose. And oh, Ambrose caught him. Flip out DDT on the Cesaro. And then he makes a tag to Ryback. As Ambrose going to get out the ring, I believe. As Ryback in the ring. These guys are giving it their all Ryback right. trying to stay in control in this match. Walk away with the win. As Ambrose on the apron. Tyson Kidd on the apron. Cesaro needs to make a tag drastically right now. Wait, nice if Cesaro doesn't make the tag, then he's kind of screwed. Think about it. As Cesaro puts Ryback on the top rope. Setting up for something big here. I don't know what. A lot of pride on the line and Cesaro on top. Wait, wait a minute. Ambrose. Ambrose. And then Ambrose to make, drops Cesaro. As the big guy. The big guy. Double axe handle. Double axe handle. On the Cesaro. If it wasn't for Ambrose, I'm pretty sure this is always going to go for a super blacks and a back suplex from Ryback and Ryback knocking down Kid. Ryback in control in this tag team match. That's Cesaro. Wait a minute, Ambrose is in the ring. Ambrose is in the ring. Dirty deeds. Dirty deeds from Ambrose. And he goes for the cover. Tyson Kidd trying to make the save. Ambrose stopped him. And Ryback and Dean Ambrose wins the match. Dean Ambrose with a bulldog on to, on to Tyson Kidd. What a victory for these two. The big guy and the little tick fringe able to get the victory here live on Monday Night Raw in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. What a matchup. And we have more to come. As we're back live on Monday Night Raw here in Montreal, Quebec. Basically the home province of the superstar.
this superstar has all the tools needed to win. Kevin Owens. Now let's see if he can here on Monday Night Raw. Oh, you know he's a SmackDown a superstar. I guess he's doing double duty, working on both shows. Which you can do that now. You have new contracts for every superstar. They have the option to go on both shows or stay on one. Looks like Kevin Owens wants to be on both shows. Kevin Owens waiting for his opponent. Oh. Oh, here comes the former Intercontinental Champion in Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt and his fireflies in the arena. Bray Wyatt's a man that has to show you that he has no fear. I mean, just look at him. He's surrounded. He got the whole world in his hands, as he claims. And just like on his t-shirt says, he's telling someone to find him. But anyways, Bray Wyatt, like I said, went in a battle royale earlier in this series at the Royal Rumble. Went in the Bray Intercontinental Wyatt, Championship. The disturbing Wyatt family. Did you say disturbing? Come on. The Wyatt family is flat out certifiable. I don't think there's a Bray Wyatt the getting ready for this well, triple threat match. Remember last week on Raw, we had a qualifying match between uh, for Finn Balor and Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston defending the Intercontinental title at the uh, Payback pay-per-view. And here comes... Here comes Monday Night Raw's newest acquisition. And I see this superstar will have a bright future here in Universe Mode. Zack Ryder, Mr. Long Island IC, the internet champion. Zack Ryder in this triple threat match. The winner will be the other participant in the in the Fatal Forward match. We already have Finn Balor. So we got triple threat rules. No disqualification, no countouts. As Owens with a backbreaker on the Bray Wyatt. As uh, Kevin Owens choking the life out of Bray Wyatt. We're in the Steel City tonight. You can bet this crowd is fired up for this match. As Kevin Owens beating up on Bray Wyatt. As now Owens going after. Uh, Going after a uh, Ryder as Ryder with a counter. Let's get your take on him. What and now Owens with a counter. Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back. That's Kevin Owens with a back suplex on to Bray Wyatt. Kevin Owens and Bray Wyatt have something in common. They're both former champions. As Kevin Owens with a bat already. Using the bat to his advantage. Beating the hell out of Wyatt and and Ryder. Kevin Owens whipping Bray Wyatt into the corner. As Ryder just standing there, look like. Oh, as Wyatt got Wyatt is able to knock down both Ryder and Owens. And Kevin Owens with a big close line counter on the Wyatt. Like I said, Wyatt. And Owens have something in common. They're both champ former champions. Bray Wyatt, former Intercontinental Champion. Kevin Owens, former NXT World Champion. As Wyatt shots to Bear oh to Owens, but Owens up in the counter. Now Wyatt going after both men. Going after Ryder. But Owens intervening. You can't really trust anyone in the triple threat. Every man for himself. As Owens with a package power power bomb. As Wyatt goes for the cover. And Owens got shot with the bat he took out. And Ryder gets shot with the bat. That's Kevin Owens. Kick to the midsection. Owens. Oh my god. He's going for it already. Pop up power bomb. Pop up power bomb already. Cover. Hooks the leg. Does he have him? And Owens has qualified for the fatal forward match at the payback pay-per-view. 
Kevin Owens. What a victorious big win for Kevin Owens winning this triple threat match. Now Kevin Owens is going to payback to compete for the Intercontinental Championship in a fatal four-way. As we're back live on Monday Night Raw. Wait, wait a minute. The Big Red Machine Kane is at ringside for Big Show. Anyway, so this matchup is underway as JBL with a DDT countering the attempt from a spear from the world's largest athlete, the Big Show. And JBL with a big elbow drop on the Big Show. And uh, JBL trying to go for a German. Not, not possible, especially with the Giant. And yeah, he is able to toss him over the top row onto the outside. As JBL stomping away on Big Show. Now shot to the midsection. The referee had a count of three. As JBL taking it to Big Show. But Big Show with a leg sweep. Knocking down JBL. One after the tag champs. Whether you like it or not. JBL and Jack Swagger. Was able to do. The unthinkable as JBL taunting away and the big show right behind him. JBL didn't realize it as both men going at it. Both, both men tra trash talking. Well, wait a minute, Kane calling for JBL. JBL being distracted from Kane as big show takes advantage with a big double axe handle to the back of JBL. That might cost him the match. It's big show attacking the back of JBL. JBL with a shot to the midsection. Can JBL still fight? Even though he got attacked from Big Show. As Big Show with a sidewalk slam. Like I said, whether you like it or not, JBL. Oh, that again, DDT on the Big Show. Well, again, Big Show's had to go for that the the spear. And a big boot from JBL knocking down Big Show. JBL and Swagger was able to do the unthinkable. Was able to defeat Big Show and Kane for the tag team titles. Big Show goes for the cover after the, the counter. Shoulders are down and a kick out of two. JBL and Swagger did, did what any other team couldn't do. JBL and Swagger did what Alberto Del Rio and William Regal couldn't do. RVD and Booker T couldn't do. Uh, uh, freaking the New Day. Primetime players. As Big Show has JBL following some onto the ring apron and the steel steps. Man, that's gotta hurt. Like they were, like all those teams I just named were not able to defeat Kane and Big Show. I think Kane's gonna get out of here. As Big Show was locked in the uh. The Cobra Clutch, but a backbreaker with it. And if you had a count of seven, Big Show, Big Show, JBL, referee had a count of eight, referee count, referee had a count of eight. J like the referee did not count in time, referee did not count at the normal pace. And JBL got caught with a spear that time. Big Show goes for the cover. JB got caught with a spear. Rope break. Rope break. Ref. And, and okay, referee called it. Referee got it. Referee was in perfect position to get to call off the the the, the pin. As Big Show needs to take advantage of JBL because JBL every time. As Big Show try to go for a maneuver. Big Show. Oh, knockout. The knockout. The knockout. Big Show being wise, pulling JB away from the ropes, going for the cover. Shoulders are down, form in the face, and he got no. JB kicked out of two. For a man that was oh, in a headshot. For a man that I believe was born in New York but grew up in Texas, or maybe vice or vice versa, was able to survive. The, the knockout, JBL neckbreaker, shoulders are down. Does he have him on the kick out of two? JBL hit the neckbreaker, so what's JBL going to do now? JBL go for a maneuver. No, Big Show caught him. Iris up into the corner. JBL might be in trouble as a Big Show. What's he going for here? 
Go for the oh tree of wall. Oh no. Shots in the midsection by Big Show. Anything else. Stomps and now driving his boot into the face of JBL. Here's JBL. Oh, attacking the arm, dropping the big man. As JBL, there's no freaking way he's gonna hit that power bomb. There is no way in God's green earth you're gonna break your back like Kevin Nash did in WCW years ago. Oh my God! A power bomb from JBL. Cover hooks the leg. Can that do it? Yes, it does. JBL able to defeat the Big Show. What a power bomb! Here live on Monday Night Raw. JBL did not need no money, no cash to win him this match. What a victorious win. What a like what a win for JBL and for Jack Swagger, the team of Swagger and JBL. And now it's time for our main event. John Cena goes one on one with the former WWE champion, Batista. John Cena. Feel the intensity level inside the arena rising. I've heard some impressive never won a championship in universe mode. But Batista well, has won the World Heavyweight Championship the and the WWE Championship in his career in universe mode. John Cena has done none of those things. The only time John Cena had a title shot was against Rey Mysterio back in October at Hell himself. It wasn't able to get the job done. The match was like three, four minutes. But this is now Monday Night Raw. Maybe this time will be a new. Uh, maybe John Cena can start anew in the, in his universe mode career. Got drafted to Monday Night Raw weeks ago on SmackDown as Cena and his fans. The C Nation going wild here in Montreal. As Cena likes to say, the Montreal fans, Canadian fans, are the most vocal. Fans in the world, and here comes the animal, the former WWE champion. Representing the authority from Washington D.C., weighing in at 278 pounds, the animal Batista. Oh boy, we're in for a treat tonight. Both of these superstars look geared up, ready to go. This guy's a stud. As the animal Batista comes here alive on Raw, Batista knows about. What's it like to be on Monday Night Raw? John Cena has John Cena has not been on Monday Night Raw since I believe the Money in the Bank pay per view. Since then, his contract expired, and then he went. He came over here to SmackDown. He came to SmackDown, but then John Cena got drafted to Raw. I, so Cena's back on Raw, and Batista's on Raw now. I mean, Batista when he came to Raw. After a couple weeks, he became WWE Champion as John Cena. With Cena's in the ring, Batista's still doing his entrance. Cena waiting for Batista to get get off the ropes as Cena kicks in the midsection. As Cena, and here we go, Cena! With a sunset flip powerbomb in the ring. Has the belt even run yet? I don't think so. As Cena, shot to the head. Iron sweeping Batista. Cena ducks it over John Cena go for a scoop slam but no Batista caught him and a shot to the back shot to the back and then Batista with an electric chair on the Cena and Batista lifting up the 251 pounds of Cena all the way up and drop him onto the dropping him on to the mat and Cena with a punches, the strikes. I was whipping Batista over the top rope. Batista caught himself. And Cena with a hip toss over the top rope into the ring. Cena stomping away on Batista. John Cena trying to attack the leg, but Batista with a kick to the knee. And Cena suffering a neckbreaker by Batista. 
Batista's career in universe mode is way better than John Cena's career in universe mode as Batista with the camel clutch or the, or the colossal clutch and Cena was able to get out of it as Batista has John Cena suplex a big suplex from the animal now attacking the head of Cena and a kick to the back by the animal as Cena and a knee lift by Cena as this matchup continues on Cena I was flipping Batista ducks it Cena ducks it Cena jumps over Batista and oh what's gonna go for a Frankenstein but Batista caught him for a mini powerbomb now what Batista trying to do here Batista trying to set him up for something a shot and Batista with the pedal's belly suplex on the Cena as Batista up top, go for an elbow, and he got him. A nasty elbow drop by Batista. And a kick to the face. A kick to the face by the animal. As Batista has Cena with a big spy buster. As the fans are chanting, let's go Cena. Cena sucks. As Batista with a spear goes for the cover. Edwards hooks the leg, but Cena kicked out. The fans are cheering Batista. Do they hate Cena that much? I mean, Batista was the man who came on Raw, was a fan favorite. Then he turned on the fans for the WWE Championship and joined the authority. As Batista, oh no, with the beast bite that won him so many matches. As the fans are chanting, let's go Cena. This fan, the fans here in Montreal. Oh my god. They're split. Some are for Cena, some are for, for, for Batista. As Batista goes for the cover. Hooks the leg and a kick out. John Cena still in this matchup. And a kick to the midsection. And Cena, fisherman suplex. Dropping Batista. Now Cena dragging Batista's carcass into the middle of the ring. Now Cena trying to go for that finish, that signature maneuver. The five knuckle shuffle, but now Batista with a kick to the head. And here's some minor, let's go Cena, Cena sucks chant. Rolling in the arena. And Cena with a suplex, a snap suplex onto the animal. And Cena pumping up his shoes like he used to do back in the day. Cena playing around with the crowd. Cena has Batista now. Cena. Oh, I thought he was going to go for a back suplex, but he got him with a spinning powerbomb. A spin out powerbomb, sorry. And Cena has Batista down. And Cena, will this time be it? You can't see me, Cena. Okay, this time Cena's able to drop it. Yes! Five knuckle shuffle. No kidding. Looks like another big victory for John Cena. And Cena tips over turns over Batista. John Cena. John Cena trying to set up for the AA. I believe this match is a false can anywhere match. I'm not sure. As Cena go for the AA. We animal counter into a DDT. I think the animal is going to go for it again. The beast bite. The beast bite. Will he tap out? Will he tap out? Will Cena give up? As the fans are chanting, let's go Cena. Cena sucks. As Batista got it, no. Batista realized to let go because there's no point. He can just go for the cover right there immediately. Cover. Hooks the leg. And a kick out from Cena. Cena still fighting. The women and the kids chanting, let's go Cena. And all the men at the age of 18 plus are saying, Cena sucks. As Batista getting out of the ring. Cena telling Batista to get in the ring. See, Batista got in the ring. Cena, shoulder tackles. Here comes Cena. Shoulder tackle and a spin out power bomb. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the final knuckle shuffle again. As John Cena has Batista. Cena has Batista. What's he going to go for here? John Cena. John Cena? Cena with a stunner. 
A springboard stunner! John Cena with a springboard stunner. As Batista onto his feet. Cena go for the AA. And this time it connects. John Cena connects the AA. Now we'll see the try to go for here. Cena up. Goes for the cover. Shoulders it down. Pinning the animal. Does he have him here in the kick out of two? This matchup still goes on. As Cena hit him with the AA, but wasn't able to get the was it wasn't able to capitalize in time to get the, the victory. John Cena probably was gonna go for the STFU, but Batista with a kick to the face and a snapmare by Batista. And now chin lock. Batista resting on on Cena. But now Cena with a jawbreaker onto the animal using his head. And Cena trying to go for a maneuver. Batista caught him though. And Cena countered. Now Cena. Cena with a submission hold of his own. The Boston Crab. As Batista was able to get out of it though. Remember Batista was taught by the legendary Ric Flair. As Batista now finally goes up the ring. So does Cena. But Batista goes to one side of the ring. To get a weapon, remember that's an LED board, so he can't get a weapon uh, in the middle of the right there where the hard camera's facing. As Cena taking it part of the other Spanish announce table, and Cena takes down Batista before he's able to use that kendo stick. And Cena with a shot to the kendo with the kendo stick. As John Cena and a shot to the head by the Adam by Cena. Onto the animal. As John Cena. I don't know how much longer he's beating the hell out of the animal right now. We'll see the looking on the ring for now. John Cena. A ladder. Cena has a ladder. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best he's going to set it up. But he realized Batista's getting up to his feet. Oh, and Batista go for. Oh, Cena's going to ram him down. Pause with the, with the ladder. But Batista hit him with the ladder. The animal using the ladder to his advantage. As Batista trying to attack the knees of Cena. Cena got the ladder. Trying to charge him with the ladder. Batista got it. And Batista again with the shot. And now Batista goes for the cover. But no on the kick out. Cena still fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Monday Night Raw. We are live in Montreal, Quebec, Canada for the second week in a row for the first time as Batista has uh, Cena with a counter. Oh my God, Batista going to go for a power bomb onto the table? No way. No way. Batista bomb. Oh, onto the floor. That's nasty. I think that's it. I think this is it. Batista cover. So does it. Oh, Cena kicked out. John Cena still able to kick out of the Batista bomb onto the floor. Batista signaling that this is over. But John Cena, well, Batista still fighting. But Cena able to use the judo hip toss, knocking down the animal. What's Batista? What was Cena trying to do here? There's Cena. Batista on the ladder, but Cena climbing up the ladder. There's Batista climbing up, and he goes back down. He realizing Cena is trying to set him up for something. But Batista climbs up, but he realizes no. I don't know what Batista. I think Batista's playing mind games, but Cena knocks down Batista. As Cena climbing up to the top again. As Batista rolling on to his, rolling, rolling over. Now Batista getting up to his feet. As Batista now climbing up the ladder this time. Cena caught Batista there. Smashing his head on the ladder. Oh my God, Cena's going to go for no way. No way! Attitude adjusts onto the table. But the table didn't break. You know, Cena. As the fans are chanting, this is awesome or we're awesome. I don't know what they're chanting. As, the, as Batista goes for the cover and the Cena with a kick out. 
And Cena dragged Batista onto the floor, but Batista was able to counter. Now Cena has the ladder. Cena drops the ladder. And Cena. Well, no, no, so no, Batista caught him. Better than suplex. When you get outside the ring, it's survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these. And now Batista working on the neck of Cena, who has had history with neck problems in the past. Let's go for the cover. Shoulders are down. And a kick out. John Cena. Still fighting. Refusing to refusing to die. As the fans are chanting Batista right now. As Batista has Cena go for a rolling senton. But Cena caught him into a DDT. And Cena picks up the ladder. And he throws it inside the ring. A lot from the looks of it. Now Cena stomping away on Batista. And Cena with a hip toss. On. I mean, I think he hip tossed him onto the bat. It didn't look like it because the referee was in the way, but I'm going to stick with that. Cena hip toss him onto the bat. I believe so. I'm going to have to ask those Spanish announcers out there. Uh, John Bradshaw Layfield, that's his name. Michael Cole and Jerry Lawler, those guys. As Cena, Batista talking trash, but Batista with a big clothesline knocking down Cena. Now Batista attacking the trap and the shoulder of Cena. That's where Cena had that pectoral muscle uh, surgery back in 2007. They return at the Royal Rumble after four months later. Or less than that. As Cena. Trying to get up. John Cena. Has Batista. Although Batista with a counter. And now Cena with a counter. Cena. Batista with a counter. And now Cena has Batista this time. Cena. No. Batista with a counter. Counter after counter after counter in this match. As Batista goes for a backbreaker. To, to stop this nonsense in encountering. As uh, Batista stomping away and beating up Cena. John Cena. Shot to the midsection. This time put him onto the table. And now John Cena. John Cena. No freaking way. John Cena. Attitude adjustment through the table. And he goes for the cover. One. Two. Cena got a no and a kick at it. Two. The animal's still alive. Batista's still alive. And now John Cena. And now Batista caught for a neck breaker. I don't know what so I don't know what Cena was setting him up for. As Batista's in the ring. What the hell is Batista going up for? John Cena stirring. As Cena gets up, John Cena caught Batista. Batista trying to go for a crossbody. John Cena caught him. Attitude adjusted onto the kendo stick. Onto the kendo stick. Goes for the cover. Hooks the leg. John Cena defeats the animal Batista. Here live on Raw. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Universe Mode. If you guys can, hit that like button below. Also, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. See ya.